happened today, and here I was thinking this would be the perfect job for turning over a new leaf. It kinda is, you're changing, Ina, you're like, Lillian is kind of, have kind of changed you, and the job too. And you ended up killing anyway, well, you didn't have a choice. But it's not like you got a contract on someone, but you were protecting someone. It's different, kinda. At least for me. I mean, this man was obviously trying to hurt someone that you were supposed to uh, protect. Ernest words, eh? I surprised myself today. Immediately after the conversation, I had almost started regretting saying anything at all. Carolyn called a while back. He told me he decided to drop the case. Lillian's safety was the most important thing to him right now. I think we kinda did the right thing. I guess he's a caring father after all. Sometimes he just gets too caught up in his work to actually notice what's going on around him. Lillian, on the other hand, she seems to have this aura that draws people to her. They automatically feel close to her, even only after knowing her for a short amount of time. Hmm. My curiosity getting the better of me, I navigate back to the social networking website. I depose for Lillian's photo collection, showcasing her day-to-day -day antics until it's time for bed. Well, I'm back at the school again. Well, I'm back at the school again. My contract is officially finished. There's no real reason to be here, but after yesterday's event, I just can't bring myself to take things easy. The people we're dealing with are very unpredictable. I wouldn't make any assumptions just yet. Even while I'm trying to justify myself in this way, my thoughts are solely about Lillian. It's strange. I seem to have developed some sort of a fixation on her. I don't really understand it. It's just that looking at her is somehow uh, calming. It's refreshing. She never stops intriguing me. There is always something new and alive about her. I should just stop. This info will take me nowhere. I'll probably just be on the lookout for a couple more days, and maybe even four or five, and then I'm back to my own life. My regular jobs, the ones that pay, and they're less confusing. I find myself in advert only written for a glove compartment. Ah, wait. Lillian is exiting the college with two of her friends. The Pesho is parked across the street. She seems to be doing okay. I even thought she would take a day off, but here she is, the very next day. I don't know whether she's tough or just downright nonchalant. She's talking to her friend excitedly, making dramatic gestures. She even makes a gown with her hands and maintains a firing action. Oh yeah, and tell everyone your dad is working on a drug lord case, because that's a very good idea. She's such a child. Oh god, what is she telling them? Yeah, <laughs> not surprised, Ina is kind of, uh, yeah, not happy. I think she's looking my way now. I didn't think she would notice me. Well, I better be on my way then. Hmm, that's odd. She suddenly leaves her friends behind and begins dodging left and right, hiding behind people and cars. What the hell? What is she up to now? Every few paces she sneaks a glance at the special, looking very comical throughout. Oh, is she doing the rebel thing again? Hasn't she learned her lesson yet? Wait. She seems to be making her way towards me. Right, I better get a move on. Ina! I cringe. Well, too late for that now. Does 
does she have to call out like that though? She runs after my car and knocks on the window. Uh, Lillian. I force on a smile and begin rolling down the window. I was just... Uh, I was... Cute now, what do I say to her? In the neighborhood? Yeah, exactly, I was... She's screaming mischievous. Fluffed! <laughs> Mich mischievously. Mischievous. Mischievously? It's mischief. Mischief. Mischief? Mischief? Mischievously? Mischievously? The work on that speaking skills still. Oh, I was sarcasm. I'm just being careful. Those people, they might come back. There's no telling what they will do now. Yeah, that told me the talk the two of you had. The one about him dropping the case. I know. Well, he has dropped it now and... Thanks. She looks a bit embarrassed as she says that. I, I know you did that for me. That told me he said you were worried. Oh, I kind of feel like we can have friendship with her at the end because it seems like you could take the road like I'm I'm just your bodyguard. I don't fuck with shit you're going through. I'm just doing my job or you could get more close up. Uh road and I think we may have a really nice a friendly ending or at least I think so. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to respond to that. Y your chauffeur is probably waiting. You should go. Uh, yeah, I should. She doesn't budge though. She seems to be hesitating to ask something. Can we, um,. Uh, meet up sometime? I like. Can I have your phone number or something? This takes me by surprise. I really don't know how to respond to that. Uh. Um. For a coffee, you mean? Um. Sure. We could probably do that. We really shouldn't do that. But you're making a friend and it seems like you're really lonely and I'm not surprised that because you work as a killer for hire that you're lonely. I kinda understand why. But see? You could ask Mel for more body care jobs, change your life, have a friend and everything and and be happy. Sam will be happy for you too. But it's not like we're related for work anymore. It should be fine. And she already knows my identity, so uh, I don't think there's any harm in it. Great, I... I can't give you my number, though. It, um, it's risky. Huh? It would be fine. I'll keep it to myself. I'm sorry, and you really should get going now. Then why do you want to like meet up for a coffee with her? I don't understand it yet. I mean, I know the line of work you're doing, but oh my god. <laughs> it's so weird. Fine. Just spotting a looking little detective. It's kind of hard to refuse her something. I think I understand her father's situation a bit better now. I watch as she goes to her car and glamps in. I take a short drive around the block to calm myself before heading home.